Welcome everyone to the third and final part of the Skype for Business Server 2019 migration series. If you have not seen the previous two parts, be sure to check out the videos of the links in the video description. Today we are going to wrap up the migration process with some steps to test different services and a final review. The testing and verification stage is fairly simple, however it is critical to ensure that all these services that had been previously migrated to the new environment are working correctly. So one of the first things we can do for testing is to verify that internal calling is working. So we can go ahead and call from one client to another, um, verify that the audio is working uh, w both ways. Um, after we test internal calling, we need to test the conferencing services working. So an easy way to test this is by opening the Skype for Business client and clicking Meet Now, or by clicking Meet Now on one of your uh, de desk-based phones. Um, additionally, we need to test that link-based meetings are still joinable. Um, so if you've had previously scheduled meetings for a specific user, click on one of those links and verify that you can join the meeting. We also need to verify that the dial-in conferencing service to our DID is still working. So look at one of those meetings, or if not, schedule a new meeting and make sure that the users externally are able to dial into that conference. We also need to test that Edge Federation remote connectivity is working correctly. A great way to do this is by messaging another user and another organization and verifying that you can send messages, share PowerPoints, if you're using Office Online Server, uh, verify that everything is working correctly between users. Um, the other way is actually by using the Microsoft Remote Connectivity tool which will have you sign into one of your user accounts and it'll run a few tests uh, from Microsoft's side to verify that remote connectivity is working correctly. Next, we need to go ahead and test that external PSTN calling is working for the environment. So to do this, just simply pick up one of your phones and dial a number outside of your environment and make sure that the call does go through. Also, test voicemail, so call into yourself from another phone or also just call from one phone to another user and don't pick up on the other line and verify that you can leave a voicemail. The voicemail will appear in the other user's mailbox. Um, we also need to test that Exchange uh, Outlook web app is working. So when you open up the local Exchange server in the top right, and if you click on sign IM, verify that it does sign IM. That will test to make sure that the uh, trusted application is working correctly. Also test any type of auto attendant that is part of Exchange Unified Messaging and also test that the response groups in the environment are working correctly. This is going to conclude this video series. If you run into any issues or have any questions regarding the content of this presentation, please be sure to comment those below. Now that all internal services have been migrated to the new environment, I'm happy to welcome your organization to the Skype for Business Server 2019 family. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video series, and I hope that I've been able to streamline your upcoming migration process. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and visit my blog at www.ucit.blog. Again, that's ucit.blog.